Hey guys, and welcome to another episode of Breakthroughs with Brett. Today I'm gonna to talk about starting a business whilst you're still working a job. Now it's a question that I get a lot, and it's also something that I'm sure many of you out there are thinking about and wondering, is it actually possible to... And look, the short answer is yes, absolutely. But there's a couple of things that I just wanted to touch on to looking into different business opportunities, and I guess how, how it all fits, because there's a lot of people that look at their day and go, you know what, I'm working this job nine to five, how can I make this work? Well, look, first and foremost, I'm not gonna sit here and tell you that I don't work a job, I do. I currently work nine to five. So everything that I'm talking about here is everything that I go through. And the reason why I'm sharing this with you is just to say, quite simply, if I can do this, then you can do that too. So how does it all look? There's three aspects that I wanna talk about today. First and foremost, I wanna talk about priorities and time management. And then I wanna talk about the pockets of your day. And lastly, I wanna talk about not all opportunities are equal and you know you want to be starting to look at getting into a business what is it why most of us are wanting that time freedom and to be able to you know sack the boss and be able to travel the world spend time with friends family and anybody that we want to and wherever we want to that I get most of them I think this probably covers most of them. I know that's a lot of it for myself and that's the reason why I've been going down this path. And over my time in different opportunities, I've seen and I've grown to the opportunity that I'm in now, which is definitely hands down the best that I've ever been involved with. And what I wanna say is get clear on why you want to do it. Like what is it? What is it about being your own business owner that is going to keep you motivated? I guess is the big one. You know, this whole journey, it's not gonna be easy. I'm not gonna sit here and preach that it's you know, all sunshines and rainbows because it sure as heck isn't. So what is that reason? What's underlying for you first and foremost that is going to keep pulling you through or even pushing you through those hard times and especially when the results themselves aren't showing up? And look, I've been there. <laughs> And at times it seems like, you know, you're asking yourself, why am I doing this? Why am I here? But when you can reconnect as to back to your why, and even if that is leaving a job and just being able to spend time with friends, family, or like travel, anything like that, you know, it doesn't have to be some big, massive thing. But at the same time, like family is a huge thing for me. Freedom is a massive thing for me. So they, they are, depending on who you are, they're big. So get clear on that first and foremost. You're gonna have to believe in yourself that you can do it. And throughout this journey, it's going to open up so many doors when it comes to personal development. And that's probably one of the biggest things that I love about this journey is the fact that the person that I was some years ago is definitely a shadow on the person who I am today. And you know, that in itself is super exciting. So as said, so priorities. Now, I work nine to five personally. I'm sure many other people may do that. You know, there might be some people out there that work night shifts, that work 12 hour days. And I can promise you that you can find the time to be able to market your business and to be able to grow your business and to be able to start working your way out of that job. You know, a lot of the things that we do these days, whether it comes from a Facebook post, Instagram, or, you know, Snapchat, if you just start to tailor and just tune what it is that you're actually portraying or posting, you're gonna start to be able to turn it from just a general information up to like business orientated and something that's going to have an impact on growing your business and starting to get it off the ground which is a huge one so, you know a simple post uh, you know let's say you go down to a coffee shop in the morning you could choose to take a photo of the of the venue itself and say you know I love coming down here in the morning I cannot wait to be able to come down here and work from here from my laptop in my own leisure I'm so excited to be on this journey with this new business something like that and you can, if you start posting that, it's all attraction modeling, marketing, that side. I'm not gonna get into marketing in this particular video. I'll leave that for another one. But at the moment, all I wanna do is just touch on it and just talk about there's so many places where we are already doing these things that if we just tailor it a little bit, we're gonna be able to start growing that business whilst you're still working that job. Another one, pockets of your life. Now or pockets of your day, same, and same, same. You know, there's so many opportunities to be able to talk about what you're doing. And now look guys, first and foremost, I wanna make sure that you do not try and shove your opportunity down the throat of somebody who does not ask what you are up to. Because been there, done that, and I can promise you, it is not well received at all. So just keep that in the back of your mind. At the same time, when you do get into something, you're gonna be super excited and you're gonna to wanna to 
stand on the top of a mountain and you want to want to shout it for the, for the whole world to be out of here. I get that. Been there, done that, and I can assure you not everybody is going to be as excited about it as you are and that's okay because this is your journey at the end of the day. But if you have somebody down at the post office or um, the, the service station or you know the grocery store wherever and they might be asking you what are you up to today or what do you you know what do you do for work there is your opportunity you can quite easily say this is what I do for a job now for me I'm in recruitment so I can say you know I mean I'm in recruitment but what I'm passionate about is my online business because it allows me to to help people to live a life on their terms and to spend that time with friends, family, or travel the world. That's what I'm really passionate about. So start to see where you can subtly just express to people what it is that you're up to. And if they show any interest, then sure, have that conversation and go forward from there. There are so many opportunities to be able to build your business, basically, that's what I wanna tell you. So yes, you can absolutely build a business when it comes to working a job. And lastly, I wanna talk about opportunities. Now, I've been in all sorts of things, from network marketing to top tier direct sales to the online business that I'm involved with now. And I can assure you that they're not all the same. Some of them are gonna take up a lot more of your time from opportunity meetings to presentations and some are going to be able to have systems like the one that I'm in now which I can leverage. So start to have a look into different opportunities when you are looking at a business to be able to get involved with and it obviously has to be something that's gonna align with you because at the end of the day, if it doesn't truly align with who you are as a person, then when you talk to people about the business opportunity, they're not going to be buying into it because they're not they, they're gonna see that you don't believe necessarily wholeheartedly in it yourself. So start to have a look at that. Now I said, you've got two aspects. One is gonna be taking up a lot of your time, but I would highly suggest that you find something that has systems. And as an example, the business that I'm involved with, all I need to worry about is marketing and taking home the money. It's pretty much all I need to worry about. All of the sales team and the coaches do everything else for me. So I don't have to worry about presentations or explaining anything to everybody. Of course, I do my own with my team and educating and supporting and growing and helping and assisting. But when it comes to dealing with new people and getting them started, I don't have to do anything myself. You know, I just watch the numbers roll through. So it's perfect when it comes to leveraging time and being able to effectively and efficiently build a business while you're still working a job. This is by far the best opportunity I've ever come across and I've been involved with a number of them. So start to have a look and just see what's out there for yourself. And I would highly suggest that you find something that has systems that you can leverage because it's gonna make building your own business and having that dream of saying goodbye to the boss a reality a lot sooner than what you are otherwise think. So look guys, I'm gonna wrap it up there. I will leave the link to my opportunity down, down in the comments in the description. Just in case you are interested to know what that is, feel free, shoot me a message, reach out to me. I'd love to have a chat. And if you got any value out of this, you know, like it, share it, comment on it, and by all means, subscribe to my YouTube because there's gonna be so many more breakthroughs with Brett coming. I look forward to speaking to you then. See ya.